Hello, we are so excited that this Sunday we're meeting back at the church in person. We're going to begin having in-person services and um, obviously uh, according to government um, precautions we've been given certain guidelines to follow but I think it is more important that we have a strong desire to meet and that we are able to meet as long as it's not uh, as, as long as you're not a person of risk and, and, and you need to be home. But I think that we can overlook the precautions and, and just be willing to be flexible, that we're able to adapt to one another. And we're just going to, in adapting and, and making it safe for, um, for everybody, we would like to give you some little guidelines on how the service will run this Sunday. So, Service will be at 11 o'clock as usual, as we always had and, and have had it online and offline. You, when you come to the church, you will be greeted at the main entrance by an usher. And the usher right there at the entrance, you will have a hand sanitizer. And if you do not have a mask, a mask will be provided for you to be able to wear when you are walking and um, and then while you're going through the sanctuary. Um, there will be a registration. When you come in, you're gonna be given a registration card, and, and that is for you to fill out to just simply say that you have been here. So that if we actually have uh, anyone that's been, uh, that's been infected, that we are actually able to localize everybody and know who's been here, when they've been here, so we can contact and, and contact you and help you in, in case there was a, an infection so that you, you're safe, you know? Uh, we would ask in the restrooms that you will, and, and out, you know, just throughout the time that you're here, that you would just wash your hands uh, after being to the bathroom, uh, uh, that you will use sanitizer as much as possible. Uh, I think the key is wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. And there will be a one-way system. You will come through the front door, kind of like Ikea. You'll go through a one-way system where you come through the front door and then you will go out through the coffee shop door. Obviously, if you need to go to the restroom, you can go right back. Uh, by putting your mask on to go to the restroom and then coming out and and going and but then when you leave the the church you go out through the coffee shop exit uh, i realize that some of you might feel very strongly one way or another way but this is uh, these are guidelines that have been given by the government that we need to uh just uh um apply to just like the coffee shops are having to apply rules just like movie theaters are having to apply rules we're just gonna uh, go with the flow of, of these things the cards the registration cards you will fill out in your seat so and then once you leave you will hand those in and that way we will have a record of who was here we will be serving coffee. We will have the coffee shop set up, the tables and everything. And we have um, a coffee machine, that, an instant coffee machine, which is, it makes great espresso. And we will be using that for the time being. Uh, but it'll just be minimal if we want to sit down for a coffee. There's plenty of room. There's plenty, plenty of tables. So we'll just be able to have a coffee together like in the old days or like you've been having in coffee shops. <clears throat> and then... Um, I, we would ask you, uh, and this is an awkward one, but we would ask you that you refrain from hugging and kissing. I understand that some of us have been outside of services, but I just ask that during the service, because we're going to have different people that, that just, um, are vulnerable or, and, and we just want to be sensitive to everybody that comes. So there's no... Uh, no one being freaked out and no one's scared, but that everybody feels safe in the service. It is very important that people feel safe. And the children's ministry uh, will not be, um, 
we will not be hosting children's ministry for different reasons, but one of them is downstairs is not ready. I'm thinking in the next couple of weeks, maybe to open the new office to the kids, maybe they could uh, watch something together, have mixed groups, but we're not there yet. For now, we're asking those of you that are um, adults, and if you have children that are able to sit through the service, you are more than welcome and we're so excited to have you. And in the next week or two, we will have the remainder at the church. How exciting to meet. A word from the Bible. Um, a word from the Bible is, now concerning things offered to idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffs up, but but love edifies. We all have different views. We have different views about uh, the safety. We have different views about the masks. We have different views about um, uh, the coronavirus. And at the end of the day, the only thing I'm going to ask of you is to walk in love to not esteem your view as if it's the only view, but be sensitive to how other people feel. In this passage that I just read, the Corinthian church, some felt that they could eat uh, food offered to idols, that it did nothing to them. Other people felt, man, I can't eat things offered to idol. That's going to defile my relationship with the Lord. Here we have people that believe that trusting God and actually submitting to the guidelines of the, of the hygienic guidelines, the, the, the actual health guidelines, that that is trust in the Lord. Other people believe that not wearing a mask and, and, um, and just, you know, that, that they're not going to be infected, that that is trust in the Lord. And to be honest, I respect both views. I think in some churches, some people are standing up. Other people are complying in the United States, particular here, they're all complying. But I, I respect both views. But I think it is very important that we walk in love and in consideration to one another. Some, um, you know, if you feel like you're not, um, you're not going to be infected, that it's a bunch of, um, that it's being overrated, maybe it is. But what if it's not? I think it's important that we walk in consideration to one another. So here we are. It says, therefore, if not wearing a mask, it doesn't say that. It says, if food makes my brother to stumble. But if not wearing a mask makes my brother to stumble, stumble then I will just wear a mask in order for my brother not to stumble. And I just want to give us an encouragement to walk in love regarding of our view. May God bless you. I can't wait to see you in person. I can't wait to see you together here as we are led in worship and we get to praise the Lord and learn from his word. May God bless you.